Hey bosses, in a world where you have to have an Instagram feed that is beautiful and curated, how do you make the perfect Instagram feed? Today I'm breaking down two things you need to know to up your game over on Instagram. So here's the deal. There is no such thing as a perfect Instagram feed. Everybody has different tastes, everybody has different opinions, and you can work to make your feed better, but it's not going to be perfect. So let's get that out of the way right now. You don't have to worry about being perfect, you just have to worry about making it look beautiful and curated. So here's the deal. With your images, you need to be aware of lighting, and coloring. So when you are taking your photos, they should have relatively the same light. Always use as close as you can get to natural light, whether it is actually getting your natural light outside or you're using artificial light that is white based, not yellow based, so it doesn't get that weird yellow cast. And you want to make sure that the lighting is basically the same. Now, of course, as you're taking photos, you're never going to get the exact same light for all of your photos, but it should be relatively the same, which means you're probably going to have to edit your photos a little bit. And stay tuned, friends, because in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to edit your photos in your iPhone. Now this will work on other types of phones and it'll work if you're a bit more high-end and you're taking photos on a camera. All these principles will apply but make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos and you get first dibs on this brand new video on how to edit your photos right in an iPhone. And you want to make sure that your lighting is almost perfect within your feed. So you want to have similar levels of lighting. We're going to talk about brightness and contrast and how to do your exposure and all of that in the next episode but you wanna make sure that you are pretty consistent with your lighting in your feed. And the other point is coloring. So you should have a pretty consistent coloring within your feed. Now that doesn't mean you have to be all pink or all blue, but you should have very similar color tones. So if you take a look at mine, I tend to go very bright with my coloring. I like those whites, I like the pretty pops of color, and I have a lot of the similar tones within my imagery. And I also make sure that as I'm planning out my feed, because I do plan out my feed before I just randomly post on Instagram that I am connecting these colors. So if there's a green down here, there's a green up in the corner. And if there's hints of pink, I make sure I have pink somewhere around it to make sure it looks like a curated feed. I want to make it look like a magazine. So I'm not just pulling random colors from here and there. I'm not just randomly popping things in. I'm making sure that things actually fit. And if I do have a pop of color that doesn't necessarily mesh with my feed, I'm going to make sure somewhere around it in one of the surrounding images, I actually have a hint of that color so that it ties it into my feed and looks like it was an intentional part of what I am doing. So lighting and coloring are the most important things when it comes to figuring out how you want to do your Instagram feed. And I highly encourage you to pick some theme colors and to run with those and make sure they're in the majority of your pictures and then that you are conscious of where you're placing your photos as you are putting out your grid on Instagram. And of course, you want to make sure that you hit the subscribe and notification bell because I am breaking down exactly how to edit these photos to achieve these looks in the next video. And as always, I'm dropping brand new videos here every Tuesday and Friday, plus replays of our weekly Ask Me Anythings from our Facebook group at group.com or group.kmrobinson.com, uh, where I am doing every single week a live Q&A session and answering four, five, six, seven of your questions every single week and saving the ones I can't get to until the next week to make sure you always get answers to create a profitable business through smart social media marketing. And make sure you check out these videos here where I'm breaking down everything you need to know about succeeding on Instagram and growing that profitable business. I have tons and tons of videos, how to get engagement, how to schedule your Instagram posts, all sorts of fun, fabulous things. Check out the links over here because you do not want to miss out these uh, videos. And I am going to be actually dropping something really cool. I think you guys are going to like this. Are you ready? Not only am I going to tell you how to edit your photos, but I might actually have a bonus playlist. I haven't released it yet. I might release it early if you're nice and you ask down in the comments below. So type, I want the playlist into the comments below. If you want my professional photographer tips for taking better photos without the professional equipment. That means anybody, whether you're on your iPhone or you have a professional camera, can fix up your photos and take them way, way better in a way that actually looks more professional without the professional equipment. I will be breaking down how to use natural light, how to actually bend light through your will. We're gonna be talking about what types of objects look really, really good in your imagery and more, all from a professional perspective. So type, I want the playlist down in the comments below and I'll consider releasing it a little bit early for you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Come hang out at K 
kmrobinson.com and at kmrobinsonsocial on all the social media marketing platforms. I would love to hear from you guys and let me know what is your biggest struggle when it comes to Instagram or social media. I am creating new videos right now and I would love to get your questions answered as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again in the next video.